doing it again. I'm traveling that four hour round trip I told you about. The plant has cleared customs twice previously, including Germany, which is in the EU, where I then had to make a four hour round trip to collect it. I'm doing it again and pick up small plants. You'd think I'd have learned the first time, but no, I'm doing this stress to myself again. What you doing, Kelly? You think this is real funny, don't you? <laughs> I spilled a bit of pain on the floor, and apparently, according to Ben, you can send it off, which does work. Don't get me wrong, I'll give it to you, it works. But, dude. It feels like we've got a lot done, yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Let's eat. So somebody sent me something this morning about, you remember the pink Congo mm -hmm. like last year? Yeah. I'm basically going to explain why this plant is a scam and why you probably should not spend your money on it. It's a fake. And I said in that video like, yo, I'll let you know when it reverts, right? Mm -hmm. 9th of April, I put something on Instagram saying, oh yo, this is reverting. You see that there? Yeah, yeah. So it was reverting. And it just so happens, I pre-recorded some shit last week to go out this week. A repot with me, and then the repot with me, I showed that the Congo was like fully reverted. It's a mess. Mm. By this point, people have seen it. Of course, by the time people watch this. Somebody sent me something early this morning of somebody else saying on Instagram. They posted a picture of a Congo that says, Pink Congo wasn't a scam. Find me one source that's not Facebook and I'll take this down one year later. I reposted it saying, lol, repot with me on Friday, proof coming up kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I just go, yeah, I've got the proof. Mm. But, but this person then messaged me saying, you know, they've started off by saying something a little bit unrelated, the person that originally posted, posted this story. And then they've continued on and said, my story wasn't about you or anything you did. I didn't tag you, I'd drag your name. So I'd appreciate the same. That's not what I was getting at. No. I said, I know it wasn't. I apologize if me posting it took it to mean it's about me. I didn't word that very well. Mm. But, you know, that's what I meant. Your post was asking for proof of a reverted Congo. I recorded a video last week that is published on Friday that shows that my Congo has reverted. Said, I'm really not dragging you. You publicly invited people to show you proof. Yeah, which you did. And then they've said, yeah, but I didn't publicly invite you to drag my name or ask but... to be featured on your IG story. If you post something so publicly saying, prove me wrong. Yes. And somebody goes, okay, <laughs> yeah. you can't, you <laughs> What? <laughs> but anyway, I'm just being nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying I don't want to be involved. You posted something asking someone to prove you wrong. Someone sent it to me. I replied. 
that's literally it. Yeah. I don't know what to say to that person now. It's irrelevant. The fact that the Congo has been chemically induced and is reverting that to is green, fact. that is a fact. Yes. The pink Congo that she's showing on her picture has got green fucking leaves. What, it just magically just started pumping out fucking pink leaves? When the chemical supply contained within this plant runs out, this plant is going to be green. No pink, no nothing. You're not on about anybody's character. All you're talking about is the pink Congo plant. Well, I think, I'm not saying this person is doing this, but I often find this, right? And you, you know I often find this. Due to my size, people can twist my intentions. If a regular person posted what I post, yeah. it would be fine. It wouldn't even be seen as involving someone publicly. Exactly, yeah. It's purely due to the number attached to my account. Mm -hmm. But I certainly wasn't doing that. I was just like, yeah, I've got proof. But this is one of these things where someone makes tea out of it. I'm fucking <laughs> bullying them, though, or something. And I'm like, I just, I just respond. You asked publicly for people to respond. Yeah. I responded. Up it is. But you don't like it now. <laughs> I, what? What? Yeah. I, honestly. No. What? It's another one of them days, clearly. Day Let's fucking... hope that doesn't make planting go. Yeah, it's gonna. So day 15 of fucking bullshit. Bullshit on the internet, one yeah. one. This is one of like hundreds of DMs I get. <laughs> people just give a bullshit, but that's the day of bullshit. Anyway. <laughs> I've apologised to the person, for anyone watching this. That Why? It, it just... Because maybe they did take it as me bullying. You've got to apologise anyway, right? I don't know. Uh, no, but okay. You know what I mean? Well, I've just said I'm sorry if you took it to mean that I'm trying to... Hmm? Are you responding to, to him? You, but... That'd be funny. It depends. It, it... So, what? Maybe maybe people have gone to them. And said what? Oh, Kaylee's responded to you. Right, well. So fucking what? I mean, if you're just a person like everybody else. Them, surely all they've said is, no, it does revert, mine's reverted, or yeah. look at this account, this is reverted. Maybe they've got a lot of people pushing... Well, maybe they have. Anyway. Right. I don't think... But she asked for the proof, though. It's bullshit. They have, that is they, kind of they bullshit, right? They fucking asked for the proof. Yeah. You were given them the proof, or proof you responded. So are you not allowed to actually talk to anybody on Instagram? Is this it? Because then they find it like it's bullying. If you disagree with somebody... That you're dragging their name through the mud. How are you dragging their name through the mud? That's a lot of bullshit. Size, dude. No bollocks, mate. No, I'm saying in, in the, the bullshit scenario that's yeah. happening here is because of my size. Why can she say something and you can't fucking counter that? With evidence that she's asked for. She's asked for it. She's asked for the no, evidence. Well, you're going to give her the fucking evidence. I know, but this is just... It's this like is bollocks. Gonna be, it's going to be one of these things, dude. I feel it coming. Fucking hell. You get dragged. Yeah. I don't know It's works. fucking hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> Hat the situation is hat. hat. Okay, so the meeting that is the budget. I know we bought some shit already, but I don't think we can go any further unless we have tallied up what we bought, add it to the budget, break everything down roughly. Obviously, we're not going to know exact numbers, but break it down roughly and then come up with a rough sum of the total budget for this unit. You are aware of what we've bought so far because I've left you in charge of it. Okay, so they're electric heaters. We've yeah. Got. got two of them, one for each side of the, the unit. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that that will do the job in winter. I know at the minute that it's so bloody hot in that unit that if you put heat in, we'd just die. This is true. Do you think we're gonna get fucked in winter for heating? I think there's no doubt about it. To what extent? I don't know. I think the problem is we need to sort of agree upon some sort of temperature level for winter. Okay. Well, we need it. We need temperature level generally. We, we do, but I think like right now we just leave it and yeah. and away you go because yeah. it's, it's doing it's doing the job already. But you know the unit's like pretty much fully insulated. So coupled with that, we've got uh, a destratification unit, which was. The fan. Which was, which is the fan, yeah. The, 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 the fan, that's actually just rocked up today, so you'll be able to unbox that tomorrow, won't you? Cool, awesome. So a destratification de fan. Yes. Essentially, you pop it on top of the roof and it blows all the warmer back down into the room and so it makes it a much more homogeneous environment that you've got going on. Okay. Theoretically, it cuts your heating bills by about 30%. We've also got a nice funky thermostat, which controls the oh, heaters. Oh, yes, yes, all right. we have that. Well, going on from that, we've got humidity. Coupled with that, we've got that fancy humidifying environment control. Yeah, it just measures humidity, it measures the temperature, and then it works out the best amount of humidity to pump out based on scientific principles. Oh, <laughs> she, 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 she,
control it. Bare bones before you shove any plants in. Yes. That is what we need and that is what we've already got. That's what we've already got. Oh, Where, there's a lot I'm of zeros funny. on this. Where's all this come from? So let me think, we've got the heating, we've done the fan, thermostat, human fat, all the shit that gets the climate control. So that's climate control. It is. Then we've got the shelving. I think mm. that covers where we're up to with I think the it unit for it now. So that's where we are. And now it's like, where do we want to go? Which is a whole fucking minefield, dude. I guess we're on to the more aspirational part of it. Really, you could say that because technically, for argument's sake, the rest of this shit doesn't really need to happen. You could mm. say that. So the thing's missing for me, the first thing that is missing for me is the studio. So the purpose of that for me is obviously I need somewhere to record to film because this is a nightmare, mm -hmm. as you know from today. This yeah. is a nightmare to film this. I don't know what that space is yet. I don't know what it looks like. I imagine, I know we've kind of built, we haven't even built the shell, but you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, I can film from like two different ends of it. It'll be pretty chill, pretty minimal plants here and there, just a space kind of like this for me to film in, right? I don't know what that looks like. I don't know the materials left. I don't know the budget for plants, but I think we should maybe budget the plants all separately as like the add-ons, apart from the living wall. Yes. Do you know what I mean? At the very end. So we'll okay. just plan this without the plants in it for now. Okay. I think for now, I can't really foresee what I want in there, mm -hmm. but I'm sure we can come up with a rough budget for it. We don't know when the power comes on. We don't know when the plumbing comes in. No. So, <laughs> front of house. Now I call it front of house. I don't even understand that the purpose of this that I'm creating, but it's essentially an office. Mm. It's not reception. It's not a public shop. People can't walk in and buy stuff. That's not what it is. You know, you go in through the door. There's probably a desk in there to one side. There is a small table and chairs, which we've already bought mm -hmm. to another side, some plants here and there some shelving to display some of our lovely plants. And can we maybe add a vending machine to that? Because I did say I wanted one. You did? They aren't cheap. I think we've done our research independently of this and we know roughly how much a vending machine is gonna cost. Yes, we do. So in my mind, when I started this, I had a number that I thought, eh, that might cover it. It might be a little bit more than cover it. Like they might be a bit spare. I thought, you know, that's probably gonna do it. That's not accounting for unforeseen things, that's just, that's probably the number. You want to hide this from you? Yeah, I'm not going to look, don't worry. So, the number that I had originally when I started this process was about 20,000. That's got nothing to do with paying rent or anything like that. You've got nothing to do with that, literally just yep. renovating, getting it ready. Nothing to do with running it, it's to do with setup. The mm -hmm. setup including yeah. the living wall, including, oh, to be fair, I don't know if I, if I wanted the living wall at that point, but I've kind of added more shit, but I haven't expanded the budget. So I would have said 20,000 total. Okay, so at the minute, rounding up, we've spent a nice round figure of Z 10,000 pounds. That's more than I thought. <laughs> Is it? I, really? Yeah, you so didn't think you spend thought, that much? I thought maybe, fuck, I don't know, maybe six or seven. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, we've, shit. we've smashed 10k. It's probably a little bit more than that, to be honest. That's a bit more than I wanted to hear, okay. <laughs> okay, so on the plus side, we've only budgeted for like maybe another 5,000 after that. So you're saying that? The total budget will rock up around about 15. Oh. Yeah. Shit. Yes. That's So we're shit. potentially under budget by a significant amount, I think. I did not expect mm. to hear that. Yeah. I think we've not done too bad out of that. Dude, there's gotta be something missing. I feel like this I feel like something has been unaccounted for. That genuinely surprises me because I've said to you all the time, you know, it's twenty thousand, twenty thousand, twenty thousand, twenty thousand. Yeah. We need to make sure that it's yeah. that. It's even incorporating your vending machine. Yeah. Okay, through then. Yeah. What are they talking about? Where the fuck is my box? Do not tell me we've got to come back tomorrow. I can't cope. Box. If you're gonna tell me that we're not getting this box, I'm gonna lose it, dude, after four hours. Uh, 
So apparently it's clear customs. Which, right. You know, it did at fucking three o'clock this morning. Yeah. And now there is a guy physically gone down in the warehouse to go and find it. He says they'll definitely have it here before half past seven, which is when we're short. Right. But they can't tell us anything else. Right. So we sit here for, until half past seven potentially. They don't give a shit, do they? Yeah, they give a shit. I says there's no, you know, we've been here for like nearly two do hours. Have you said like it takes two hours yeah. to get here? I said we've been here for been here for nearly two hours, and he's like, well, yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. It's just it's just as and when they, they find it. It's a big warehouse, he says. It's like right, well, I don't care how fucking big it is. <laughs> that big, it's been flagged and stuck in a fucking cage somewhere, hasn't it? Previously. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh good news, isn't it? I don't even know what time it is now. What time is it now? I don't know. Like five, six. six. So potentially what is it? An offer. Fuck me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway, it's gonna ring us when uh, if it comes before we get back. So we'll go off try and find her something to do. Right. Okay. I need something to do. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> no. Fuck this. Fuck All this. Right. Oh, fuck. Right, so let me get this out. So, I don't know, we've just driven to the, the garden centre to get more uh, pots mm. for the unit, you know, more mm-hmm. all day. Yeah. So what, 10 minutes ago we said, I bet bad. this person makes me out that I'm bullying them. Yep. So they have, they've quoted my post where I posted what they said and said, lol, I'm gonna do a report video on Friday where I show you the Congo. It says that, and I presume they've messaged me, I haven't checked yet. It says, I've asked to be removed from this and did not give permission to help promote or be part of a YouTube video. It's still up, so I'm posting this. My point is that the same guy claiming to be a scientist is also asking people to send them their variegated soda and then blocking them. How was that her point? I'm guessing they've, they've done another one after that, right? Before I even look for the second half of this post, can we just break it down real quick? So they think that I'm going to do a video on them? Maybe. Because it says, and did not give permission to help or promote or be part of a YouTube video. I put, and I'm so glad I did, yeah. I put a story post out last week after I filmed my two videos, right? Uh-huh. Because I filmed the bio review yep. and I filmed the report and I literally said, so I've just finished filming the bio review. I've also just filmed a report with me. And in that report, this is so weird, <laughs> but I said in that video, I've just filmed two reports and just in case I talk about stuff and you feel like I'm talking about it late or I don't know, I'm saying it on a limb, maybe some shit happens and I haven't addressed it. I'm not being ignorant. I've just recorded it on the same day. And I, I plucked at my shirt and I said, I mean, you'll see because I'm wearing the same ridiculously strappy top. Just in case anything happens, just let me know. But I think because of the way I've maybe worded it on the post, this person now thinks I'm doing a video all about them or something. Mm, so they're making out that I'm targeting them, I'm bullying them, and I'm going to make them a fucking... I don't know if they think I'm making them part of a dish the dirt or what. I mean, it just says repop me. Yeah. Well, you maybe need to just post publicly that you that you, what you're talking about never going to be part of a video, nothing to do with you. End of story. Maybe devil's advocate. Maybe they've taken that to mean I've just made an entire video about this individual. Quite possible. So now they're going on the offensive. Yeah. The video is pre-recorded. The video has not come out yet. I haven't even edited it yet for people watching this right now. If anybody wanted proof that they revert, here it is right here. Here is the original Pink Congo that I featured in the Pink Congo Dish the Dirt video, The Scam. Do I put out an yeah, Instagram you, story? Yeah, you do, yeah. See what she'd written first and then put out an Instagram story. And just to ask you to untag me, please, and keep me out probably. This is my income. I know how people are with cancel culture. I don't understand. I'm just going to write, this is ridiculous. I'm not making a video about you. But they posted, and this is something I didn't cover before, before we left, the person had put up another post, you know, that like, oh, I didn't want to be involved, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. They put up another post saying, um, you know, I remember what I said before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Right, so I've posted what they've done. I haven't posted this yet. Yeah. I've put what they've done. I haven't tagged anybody in it. And I've mm-hmm. said, this is ridiculous. I'm not making a video about anyone. I'm airing a video on Friday that is pre-recorded. There's so much text on this. Right. Just I can't, I can't read it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. That's it. Posting? Yeah. Everyone it's Porsche. posting. We posting. <laughs> Everybody in agreement. <laughs> we're all in agreement. Great. Yeah, what about, you, what about you, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> Several months later, we're all in agreement. What the fuck? Yeah, I posted it. <sighs> am I, am I, is this going to be a fucking, seriously? <laughs> seriously, is this going to be a thing where I'm... I don't see how it can be. How I think she's making so a big thing far, out of it. Yeah. 
you all you did was repost her shit. That's that's what you did. That's what you did. I know, but we're seeing it now. But this in several hours might turn into a. a thing. It might, but the fact is that you reposted her fucking shit. That's what you did. So, this is a box that I didn't expect to arrive. I ordered this in, what was it, mid-March in Thailand, right? This is actually the box of fucking Florida ghosts that should not be here right now. I was due a box of philodendron Florida ghost weeks ago, and they have not arrived. And this box has 50 Florida ghosts in, and it's gonna rock up pretty dead. And obviously, I mean, I mean, I don't even know what might have happened to that. It just rocked up today. Was expecting a delivery, but not this one, funny enough. It smells. <laughs> it doesn't smell of rot or anything. Well, I mean, how can they rot when, oh, there's the root balls. I want to have a little look before anyone else sees. Something's happened. I mean, that should give you an indication of, of what's going on here. Right, I mean. Oh, dude, that's oh. brown. I mean, I'm not expecting a single, single bit of green. I almost want to see, like, just one ball to see well, how bad they uh, actually are. That was are. a stem. It was a wow. stem. Yeah, that's, that's worse than we imagined. Well, let's have a zip. Well, Dude! <laughs> 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 Told you. Technically, technically wow. it's alive. Fucking hell. Technically. How's the roots? Can't really tell from here, but... How's the roots? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> They look alright. 10 out of 10. Can't Keep sell. <laughs> Get it up on the sign now. Give it a week. Pure hate, was it? Stuff. Wait to acclimatise that one, like everybody else. Ah, uh, They've gone like grey. They're not even brown. It's it's reached like a new level of grey. But there's it. actually still some That's fucking it. green. Isn't that a little bit nuts? Yeah. It's just like... Oh, no. Dude! Oh, fuck off. Oh my god. <laughs> That's four months in the what box. What the fuck? Wow. Four fucking months. That's impressive, isn't it? Look at that. That's actually, that's, that's really fucking impressive. That's really impressive, yeah. Shit. One for the website. Yes, boy. <laughs> Friday. Get it up there. <laughs> One day acclimation. Oh, yeah, boy. That's more like it. It's not even goo. It's just ash. It really has gone to kind of like ash on my fingers. Can you see that? Yeah. It's really yeah. bizarre. It's genuinely a bit weird, but I don't smell rot. I can. Can you? Yeah. That's gonna fucking help. <laughs> What's that? A dry pack? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Silica gel. Yeah, bye. We'll be alright, guys. We've got silica gel. Honestly, dude. I mean, we've got a great. Like, that's fucking incredible. We've got one. We've got one green one. It weighs nothing. <laughs> Oh, fuck off. No fucking way. Yeah, that looks good. For four months. Four months. Good. Yeah, you've got to think four fucking months, dude. That's got to be a new foliage. That looks... Man, it's, that it's flat, isn't it? It's a root. Oh, okay. Dude. Like... Yeah, it's more old darkness there. growth. Like, this shit isn't 100% dead, which I don't really know what to say. It's like, this yes. is when you realise how tough some plants are. So if I say a plant is tough, you <laughs> better believe it. Yeah, they're just fucking... Oh. There may have been some nice pretty ones on the bottom back in the day. Four months in a box, yeah. I, d I don't know what to do with them. We can take a bit of B-roll if you want. B-roll of them. Just the one. <laughs> that one. There you go. It's the only one that's like checking out. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure I can see a bit of green now as well. Where? There. <gasps> Another one. No way. Whoa, that's super green. Dude. Dude. Is this a, a plant? <laughs> How the fuck? I mean, obviously it's fucked, but it's not okay, dead okay. fucked. It's just really fucked. I don't, I don't know what plan is with these. Can we discount them? <laughs> we'll see what we can say then. Indeed. But there's the missing fucking gold. Yeah. Hope it is. Speechless.
Yeah, this is the massive one. Dude, yeah. that's bigger than the others. The size of that. The monster. Come on. Oh, really? This was not squared at the first one, did Oh, quick. Yeah, all the air will be there. Make it off this button there. Okay. Oh, you got that one. Oh, she's. It's a beast. This one's going to lose a few. It's a big boy. That's a nice one. <gasps> Look! Yeah, boy. Melano try some. Holy shit. It's a fat boy. Dude. Yeah. Oh, look at that leaf there. It's actually as big as you. That is massive. It's nice oh, one, it? it's so soft. Beautiful, aren't it? Oh, dude. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, two, go. That's a nice one. Oh, why are you getting all the sexy ones? It's hard to not lose your shit in it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, shit! Dude, it's a fucking tree, boy. Well, that's pretty huge, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty successful if you'd like to show the ridiculousness. <laughs> Dude, that's an entire corridor. Yeah, and that's not exactly space in the mound, do you know what I mean? Quite a few, isn't there? Boom. I think that one, oh, yeah. Oh, too big for a camera? Nope. It's hard to put down. What are you going to have to? I've got to practice attachment, apparently. I'm not playing this. It might need me. This plant doesn't know it, but it needs me. It is a nice one, though. It is. It really is. It might be my actual favourite one. Oh, I don't know, you, you were boxing fatty earlier on. Yeah, but I kind of like the longer than ones. Yeah. yeah. Been a long day, but stuff like this reaffirms to me just how much I genuinely love my job. Look at that. Need I say any more? Need I say any more? Listen. I can't believe, I actually cannot fathom why I'm having to make an Instagram story on this. I didn't attack anyone. I have screenshots of everything I posted. I wrote one little thing that said, guys, you know, report on Friday where I feature the Congo and it's pre-recorded, okay? I'm now getting messages saying I'm attacking somebody's business. I'm attacking the business owner and I'm making accusations. Although I deleted, you know, the original post because the person made out that I was bullying them, which I was not. Look up the definition of bullying and that ain't it. Disagreeing with somebody is not bullying. If you don't want somebody on a public forum to respond to something that you said on a public forum asking you to prove it on a public forum, you shouldn't post it on a public forum. <laughs> I don't even know where we last left it. I'm not even sure. It's before I posted that big long story in defense of myself. Mm -hmm. So I posted that. The majority of people have been very supportive, but there's been some people that, that claim that me posting that in, what was it? Me posting that in my defense is attacking them. Mm. I did attack them originally, but I've had a couple of strange people message me some strange things. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. Apparently what happened was, like, I had to find this out off the T groups, right? right? Mm -hmm. So apparently what happened is, this person thought I was making a video all about them and jumped the gun a little bit. They didn't ask me privately, by the way. That didn't happen. Nope. They didn't ask me that. So I didn't know that. And a lot of people said I should have handled this privately and it, it was handled privately. Mm -hmm. They said, delete yeah. your shit. So I did kind of thing. But what apparently happened was, I don't know if people have spoken to them or what, but they must have backtracked and deleted all their previous stories. Okay. And apparently posted this new shit, making it look like I was attacking them. And I didn't even know about it. Wow, okay. Yeah, I didn't know it. Right. I didn't, I didn't know what was going so on. So there's new shit why, on that I've not seen then, yeah. Yeah, that's why, it's obviously everything's gone now. Yeah. But that's why I was getting shit. Fucking hell. Because they backtracked one of the, the people in the group, like, no, 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 no. 
the original person mm -hmm. backtracked, changed all that shit to make it look a certain way. So wow. Like, right. Okay. But behind the scenes, they're saying, look, I don't want to be involved, blah, blah, blah. And then they're actively inserting themselves. And I still get... The irony of this is that somebody makes me out to be a bully and in turn I get bullied having not even been the bully. It's like, a, it's a weird thing to... It is a little bit, isn't it? It's another one of these situations where I'm a little bit more paranoid than you. I mean, there could be ulterior motives going on because obviously since you've reposted it and gone through all this rigmarole, we've found out that it is an actual shop in the States, isn't it? Oh my God. I had no idea it was a shop. I didn't even look at the person that it was. No. I didn't even, literally, mm. I didn't even look at the account or the images on the account. Apparently, get this, mm. apparently they might, they may or may not have, this is what, again, what I read from T Group, apparently they had posts about Congo on their account. I had no idea. <laughs> right. I had no idea. Well, I'm trying to flog it, obviously. But I'm guessing so, and I'm guessing that's right. why it's like, oh, uh -huh. they're attacking me, because I didn't even know that shit. No. This wasn't even about them scamming people other like other people have said that online mm. and they've turned it into that right i wasn't even saying that no no, no. i literally thought i didn't know this was a shop no. i didn't know what country they were in mm. i didn't know they had posts about congo all i saw was someone saying you know congo is real you know prove me wrong and mm. i took it at face value yeah which is a lesson which, really because which i need to be i need to be betting things more anyway and Maybe. that's a lesson for me to learn yeah but i am so drained this takes it out of you, doesn't it? Yeah, all the shit does, yeah. You had jobs to do and you didn't get around to doing it because of this bollocks. Oh, yeah. Plant, plant shops suffer today. Mm. This is the thing, whether you've done something wrong or not, you have to put out the fires when it's your public image yeah. and it's people being, is the word defamatory? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, when they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're so. slandering your, your character mm -hmm. or whatever, you have to. And a lot of people think today that maybe I shouldn't have posted that and I shouldn't have paid any attention. It's like, yeah, but if I don't... If I just delete the shit that I posted, then it without looks anybody like you knowing, are. That, yeah. yeah, without anybody knowing that the person that I'm having the beef with asked right. me to delete it, yeah. then I look guilty. Well, you look, you do look, you, well, you do look guilty because then she's going on and posting other shit, making it look like you have been doing that. Yeah. So she's perpetuating it for, you know, the views. Clearly, the majority of messages I've had today, though, have been in support. To be honest, dude, Good. and. It's been really nice because instead of anybody perpetuating anything, a lot of subscribers just sent really nice, like, motivational, like, images and text and stuff, and I just mm -hmm. thought, you know what it is? That's cool. My community, at least, is full of good people, nice people, that don't perpetuate things and they just uplift. Mm. Like, I'm genuinely really proud that I have that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think your community is a reflection yeah. on how you behave, right? Yeah, so yeah of course, yeah. That was kind of really nice to have that. I don't know what's to be learned from today. If you had to summarise it in a lesson, there's something nothing I'd you learn. can learn. I think the only thing you can sort of—I think you can learn from this. How? What? Just keep your gob shut. Don't repost other no, people's stuff. No, I will stuff. never learn to keep my mouth shut. Exactly. If, if it's this something is that's not what you should be above doing. Above board. Correct. I am a person. I'm not just a fucking mm. robot that makes videos and turns mm -hmm. out content. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's this isn't a customer service job. I'm not no. just gonna take everything anybody throws at me and be like, okay, thank you, bye. I'm not mm. going to speak. You know. That ain't me and that never will be. No, I'll box that. And the people that I believe, the people that follow me, no one like that. Mm. There's got to be a lesson here, but I'm going to reflect on it anyway. I don't know what else to say, really. Day over. Isn't it? Hey. So long story short i wouldn't say we're behind on this but we're if we have any more problems then we're going to be quite behind if i'm totally honest i'm here today i'm taking a day off editing and i'm going to try and catch up on the painting that i'm doing that you can probably kind of see in the background i'm not really here or anything today is wednesday 8th of july and we have around about three or four weeks to get this done ideally three weeks and to be totally clear that's three weeks to completion. I'm not so sure that we're going to hit that. I just think there's there's just too much to do. We haven't got the living wall done. We only have the studio upstairs, the walls up and it's sanded. It's not even painted yet. We don't have the safety railings around the top of the studio and stuff like that. We don't have any of the plants in here because we can't because the power isn't on and there's no water. Everything that could be stalled at the moment is getting stalled. A cool thing happened a couple of days ago and 
basically, it, I feel like it got overshadowed by all the shit that was going down on Instagram, but I signed the lease for this place. I had completely forgotten that I had signed that lease and that was an amazing moment because it was happening with all this shit going on online. That's a real shame that stuff like that detracts from what you're doing. I had to spend most of the day trying to explain to people behind the scenes why I had to make anything defending myself, why I spoke up. I know a lot of people might not always agree with me on speaking up, but I'm a human being. A lot of people see YouTubers and they see these people standing behind cameras and they're supposed to be these untouchable beings. It's total bullshit. We're people just the same as you. You will never please everybody in situations like this. You never can. And I learned that a long time ago. So I'm kind of cool with that. And I've made peace with the fact that I can't please everybody. You know, I can say one tiny little thing and someone will approach me in my DMs and tell me that I'm creating drama and it's too much for them. Life is drama. Stuff happens. It's the real world. People don't always get on with people. People take things the wrong way. People have fights. It happens. It's part of life. It's how you choose to move through it. That's up to you. You can choose to stay silent or you can just speak up about bullshit and that is the stance I take. So it's just a shame really though that it affected signing the lease. I didn't even look at the date on the lease when I signed it. So moving on, moving forward, keeping everything super positive and super towards the goal because nobody's gonna get there but us, right? So on the 16th, I believe in about eight days, we are going to the Netherlands. We're doing this for a couple of reasons. The main reason is to pick up plants for this place, right? I would like to decorate my studio and we do need some filler plants for the living wall because as you know, I've got a lot of big arides, but they're not necessarily gonna cover it. Anyway, I'm behind on all my work and I've got a ton of walls to paint today. So on with it. <sighs> you know, it's taken painting this wall today to realize something. All these people trying to take me down, trying to cause shit. Fuck them. Fuck them. You know, they say, right, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Fuck them. All of them. Fuck them. I can hurt you like you hurt me too. It's got to be something we fucking missed. There isn't. I don't think there is, dude. I mean, there is something we've missed, but it's not. Um, it's not set up of the unit. It's set up of the launch, which we want, to, which we're thinking. Yes. Which I don't think we've mentioned before this point. Now we may as well start talking about it now okay. briefly. Yeah. This is all in tying in with the launch that we would like to hit, the mm -hmm. USA launch that mm -hmm. everybody has been asking me for. I did want to do it earlier this year, but I think we both just decided since we're doing this. Let's make sure we do this, get it right. Do it. We can use it to yeah. launch and we'll get a bigger launch out. There's shit ton of plans. There's some packaging things, obviously, I think we should address. We mm -hmm. don't have to go into them now, but at some point I think we need a separate meeting to talk about Agreed. packaging because that's yeah. a big thing. When customs look at these boxes and they tear through the tissue paper, that's gonna look shit. Yeah. So we need to switch that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
that dude that's good mm-hmm. like i'm mm-hmm. how do you feel i'm i'm not so bad i know that. it's not a worry to you because it's not your <laughs> it's not your money right now <laughs> i feel good about that yeah i do do you feel good about that that's pretty I'm, good i'm i'm yeah. genuinely speechless yeah so it's less exactly yeah i really thought i'd yeah. gone over that i'm happy with it happy days sleep much last night so i was thinking about this big usa launch right and i know we had the meeting and i said been waiting to do the usa launch because you know we could do the shop up we can get it right and then we could prepare for the launch and get a bigger launch out of it is i think what i said so it got me thinking i don't know what you thought was a big launch but i had an idea which was? Well, what do you think? I don't want to embarrass myself, so what do you think's big? Um, well, going off, you know, what you've done previously, you've done, you know, decent sized launches around about what? 250. So that's therefore not a big launch. Right. Because that's a normal launch. So what about 500? That's a, that's a lot. It is, don't get me wrong, it is. But what, what if? Mm. I don't know if we could pull it off, quite honestly, so I'm saying this and no one might ever see me saying this, but how would you feel about attempting to do a thousand rare plants? A thousand? A thousand. Double what you think is big. That's like, that's a lot, man. Mm -hmm. That's, That's a big, big, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sweating. You just brought a sweater on me. Well, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna disappoint people. Yeah. I don't want to do a launch and just have it gone in a second and not really provide things for people. I wanna at least give it a good go. Yeah. Because I don't know how much I'm gonna be selling mm. until this thing is done. But I wanna That's see what I can do. Logistically wise, have you you obviously you've got the plants. Plants are the plants are probably ready or they will be ready by the time they would be ready yeah they'll be ready in time a lot of exactly, them are ready yeah. but some of them will have like three months to be ready At so least. they're going to be ready right yeah. that, that was my thinking they're uh-huh. going to be ready so you're going to have them otherwise it's going to sat there all winter aren't they yeah which i'll still have a lot there for winter yeah getting out a thousand plants would take what a good couple of weeks easy yeah so i thought about this and even with help and with boxing mm. you know even with two of us doing it with yeah. say one or two more people you're looking at like two weeks yeah you can probably do what 80 to 100 a day so yeah say you did 100 a day there's 10 yeah. days full time fuck that's yeah. that's pretty intense yeah you want to do it then do you want to do it i i can't do it if you it's don't want to do it because i need your support on it because you're working alongside me effectively so i'm kind of sweating excitedly what's what's that about I don't know. i've got like a bit of an excitement feel going on a thousand plants mate it's a lot it is a lot yeah. Wow, okay. But even just getting the plants ready before the launch, like I normally go through plants, especially now that a lot of them are in Lekka, I mm-hmm. go and check the roots and whatever have you, right? Mm-hmm. How the fuck do you prepare a thousand plants? Because a lot of this, and I don't know if anybody even knows this, a lot of this is in the prep as well as the selling and the boxing, right? Photographing the plants. Mm, that's like a big fucking effort, that dude. Yeah, I'm adding on weeks weeks yeah. you're adding on weeks uh, if we can launch i hope it looks big <laughs> does it look big i'm probably adding on another month i think realistically if you're doing a thousand yeah if you're yeah. gonna do maybe 200 yeah no problem as and when yeah so it, it would potentially mean that people will have to wait another month i miss you guys i miss interacting with you guys i haven't done it for a while if that will return i promise you will return we just got to go a little bit longer yet Mm. They won't know they're waiting another month for, so it's fine. That's true, because this documentary will be going around, won't it? Yeah, it's going to be really something else. I keep looking at this whole place, just kind of... I'm kind of just in awe of the fact that it's even mine and that we're even doing this. I'm just... I'm so grateful. You're the boss. Do you want to do it? I will try. <laughs> nah, that's not good enough. If you're seeing it? this now, <laughs> we did it. Yeah. 
If do you're not saying this, which is irrelevant, then we didn't. Do you want to do it? I will do it. Let's do that. And I'm very excited, even though I'm just painting. It might not seem like a lot of fun, but I'm having a blast because I'm just, I'm enjoying putting like my blood, sweat, and tears into this. So I'm really looking forward to it. Oh my God, I am tired. <laughs> you know, obviously we're going to the Netherlands tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? It is tomorrow. Shit, okay. We are going to pick up the big glory awesome, which is in the Netherlands. Yeah. And then we're also taking a nice little trip over to Belgium to pick up the monster uh, Brazil species. This is the thing that concerns me. We have to get stuff for the living wall. How much is enough? So guys, right if you're ever the... in a nursery and you need help putting, you know, you stop somewhere, just use a big fucking thing. Green jacket. I think this is fair to say, Ben, would you agree that we've put this off for some time? This was a big enough ordeal to get this thing in here, but today we're going to try and take the really big monster out of here. Fuck, it's stuck under it. No. everything. Oh, it's actually, oh, it's actually proper stuck. No. Yeah, oh, dude, it's fucking it. Dude. Oh, I'm standing on roots. I can feel oh, it. Oh, dude. Yeah, there's no Try not to. <laughs> oh my god. Ready? Gonna be loud. That's your fingernails yeah. knackered, mate. Whoever said that this wasn't glamorous? They lied. They were lying. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? You didn't have to fart. <laughs> <laughs> a little pissed off, what's up? What's up? <laughs> We're doing the one thing I said we wouldn't do. Oh, what is that? So the customs clearance guy that was booked this afternoon, before we drove five hours, says it was cleared. We yeah. Here, and they're saying it's an option. Correct. It's not been released. Yeah. So I have an issue with that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Day is the day, dude. Yep. I have no idea how the fuck we're supposed to do this. <laughs>